snapstick for this video because my lips are dry. Hey Fox fam, welcome to another video of mine on my channel. That was weird. Hi, how's it going? I wanted to do this video because recently um, was my anniversary with Ryan. And if you follow me on Twitter, you probably remember my tweet about the earthquake and that night was the night before our anniversary and I, this is our three year marriage anniversary and I was like, don't forget the anniversary. We've been really, really busy. So I didn't get any gifts or anything like that, but I was at least gonna like spend some time and like, you know, canoodle him and hang out with him. So the next day, Ryan is like, one of my friends is in town in Vegas, not in town, but like in Vegas, like on this side of the United States, I'm gonna fly out and go see him. I was like, okay, have fun. Um, I had completely forgotten it was our anniversary and so had he, even though I had just thought about it the night before. So as he's getting ready to leave, it hits me and I'm like, Ryan, you're leaving me on our anniversary. Like how could you leave on our anniversary? And he felt actually really bad. <laughs> and so today, He's making up for it and taking me out to dinner. So I thought I would do a fun, like get ready with me style. And this video is sponsored by Scentbird. Um, when I first started my channel, I partnered with Scentbird and I believe in what they do and I love what they do so much. So I'm excited to share it with you. Um, you're also gonna get 30% off your first month using my code, which is KLN30. So you can use that. All the links are in the description box below so you don't have to remember anything, super easy peasy. So with this, this is really cool. So they send you this guy and your first order, you get one of these and then it just twists up and you get your perfume right there. And then you get the perfume like so and you actually get to choose the ones that you're gonna receive, which is really, really cool. And great for me since I only use cruelty-free perfumes. Um, so this one is actually Malin and Goetz. Um, I think I'm saying that right. This is such a nice smell. It's like, it's like sandalwoody, like bergamot, like really like earthy, beautiful. One thing that I absolutely love about Scentbird is that I'm the type of person that likes to have an array of different scents and different perfumes. So this makes it super awesome to explore and find new niche um, brands or designer brands. They have over 450 designer brands on their website. So we're gonna use this one. This one is the Malin Goetz um, Cannabis. We're gonna marinate in this. So I'm just gonna don't spray it in your mouth, don't spray it in your mouth. This is something that sounds like it would be really just a great gift for a friend of yours um, or even your husband or boyfriend, significant other. There is a gift version, you can get like two, three and six months, which is like a really, really fun gift, I think. So some of the other ones I got, this one is Juliet has a gun and this is an mmm. This one's like smells like rose and beach. This is Stella McCartney in Stella. This smells just like really clean and fresh. I absolutely love that one. And shipping is also free on these guys. Let me know what you guys get. If you try any of these scents, um, take advantage of the discount code, um, tweet me and I can't wait to see what you get. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. This is just gonna be kind of like a casual get ready with me. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Um, also like check that little bell icon because lately YouTube has not been wanting to tell people when there is uh, a new video out, even though you have subscribed, it's like trying to decide what you wanna see, just like Instagram is doing, it's lovely. Today's like gonna be like a get ready with me um, video. I'm just gonna kinda show you and use some of the products that I've been using recently that I'm really liking. If I don't, if I'm like talking or babbling and I don't say, um, if I don't mention a product, it will definitely be in the description box below. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Tatcha, uh, the Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. I don't know why, they, they put this little thing in there to scoop some of it out, but I just like to use my finger. So tonight, Ryan's gonna take me to dinner. Honestly, I don't know where he's gonna take me because Carlsbad has hardly any good places to go eat at. Like, honestly, it's pretty sad. I have so much stuff to do today. Uh, whatchamacallit, we're gonna be going up to visit Ryan's dad for his 70th birthday. That's gonna be fun. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And is that gonna match right now? It's a little yellow looking. I'm gonna put some tanner on later, so whatever. Um, but yeah, I've been loving the Born This Way foundation. I've been wearing it kind of like religiously. I've also been trying to like stay up on my channel. Okay, I love this brush for foundation. By the way, BT Dubs, it's the 
um, full coverage foundation brush by Smashbox. I've been trying to keep up on uploading, you know, a good amount on both of this channel and my pet channel. If you didn't know I had a pet channel, now you know, you should go over and subscribe. It is linked in the description box below as well as my pet Instagram channel. You know what I'm saying? I guess that would help if I finished the foundation on the other side of my face. I almost like left this giant chunk over here, like unfinished. So cute. I'm gonna be using this like really inexpensive concealer that I've actually really been liking a lot. I've used this in a few videos. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I just like, it has a little brush on it and, ah, <laughs> it just just in my face. Ow. I'm really glad like a big spat of that didn't go like in my eyeball. That would not have been a good day. So what's the new, what's the new? Um, Ryan and I are actually, um, I'm gonna be using the Nicole Concilio and Smashbox uh, photo finish to spray my brush a little bit. Um, we are getting rid of one of our cars that's a bit more pricey every month. It's like the BMW i8 with the crazy doors. We don't really like that car that much. Um, and it's like expensive and we don't really like it that much and we're trying to buy a house right now. So I think we're going to get rid of that if we can and just get like a pickup truck because we keep finding ourselves needing like a pickup truck. Like when I was getting um, my monitor's temporary cage all set up, like I needed a pickup truck to go pick it up and I had to like pay someone to go pick it up. So I think we're gonna get rid of that car to save a little bit of money and get like a truck. Y'all have a truck or a car? What do you think? What's the move? Just drying the concealer. Nothing to see here. Oh, that feels really good though. It's kind of warm outside. I've been using the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder that looks like this, and I'm just gonna like set around the eye area. I think I'm gonna do kind of like a, a simple look today to kind of get me through um, this evening and just kind of like nice and simple and glowy. I don't think I'm gonna do anything too crazy. I'm gonna powder select areas of my face. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to shave my mustache. I'm gonna do this real quick. Come off. These are great. You can get these at the dollar store. Make sure I don't have a stash for my date. You're really supposed to do this like before you put on foundation and stuff and probably not put foundation on after, but ain't nobody got time for that. I wonder where Ryan's gonna take me. I'm gonna use the Laura Lee um, Nudie Patootie Palette for this look. Um, I've been absolutely loving this palette. I think it's great. It's a good thing too, because Laura Lee and I are friends and that'd be real awkward if I was like, your palette sucks. So I'm just gonna go in here and do that. Our water heater's like so loud right now. Sorry about it. Ryan and I have also been starting to look at houses. I know we were briefly like a little bit ago and then we realized that we don't make enough money to buy a house in Southern California. <laughs> so um, we're really saving right now to look at how, like to be able to buy a house. And so I've just been like looking to see what's out there and the area that we wanna live in down here is pretty like pricey so just you know saving all my doll hairs trying to make my pet dreams come true like i really want to build out like a really cool um let me just tell you the plans okay so the plans for the house are basically like why does it feel like i have like hair did all my mustache hairs just chill on my face like <laughs> it feels like they're still there um I would just love to have a place that has at least two acres so that we can expand onto the house if we'd like to. And then I would absolutely love to build, I wouldn't like love to, this is actually the goal. Like this is what we're gonna do. Um, I really wanna build basically a giant like studio on the property that's like 2000 square feet on one level and 2000 square feet on the other level. And basically the first floor will be my animal area. So I'll have all of my really cool like animal cages set up like zoo style, but like I want it all like white and like modern and like cool. And all of my animals will be on the first floor. And then basically 
Um, I'll have, I wanna have like a kitchen in there and like a sink for, you know, cleaning out my monitors, poopy water and things like that. So I've literally been doing, doing that in a kitchen sink. Don't tell Ryan. Um, <laughs> and it's just, it's just kind of gross, um, you know. So definitely want some more space there, like a washer and dryer out there to clean like all the rat stuff and all of that. And then I want to have like a really cool like hangout area there and filming areas in there so I can film with the pets. Um, does that look even? That one looks like it's a little darker, huh? Did I get it right? No, this is the one that needs more. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan. And then the next story will actually be for filming so that I can have some different backdrops and fun stuff. It's just like a goal of mine, you know? It's like a dream. And if your dreams don't scare you, then you're not dreaming big enough, so the dream of having all that kind of scares me. It seems like a lot, but reach for the stars. On Twitter, I said that, so I don't know if anyone's been watching American Idol. Have you guys been watching American Idol? I haven't watched it yet, but my stepmom, I put this up, my hands just like, what is it doing? It's like, help me. I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you guys are watching American Idol, but my stepmom basically told me that she thinks that Katy Perry and I would be really good friends. And you guys didn't have like the most nice things to say about Katy Perry on Twitter. Um, but she said that she watched that show and she didn't really ever think about Katy Perry as someone who she'd like really like or anything. Where'd my towel go? There it is. But then she watched it and was like, I really like Katy Perry. She's super sweet. So, I don't know. I guess I have to watch American Idol to decide for myself because you guys made me think maybe not. And then someone said something about, like speaking of Laura Lee, <laughs> someone said something like she, she, you didn't like how she treated Laura Lee, but I never saw that and I don't, really don't know what you're talking about. So I guess I need to get with the program and get out of my garage sometimes and not film as many videos because I just sit in my garage and I don't know what's going on in life. Like that's kind of the honest truth. I'm just gonna keep this super light. So I have kind of run out of space in this house for more animals. Um, by the way, I'm using the Tarte Park Ave Princess. <gasps> Little guy like this, I absolutely love this. It has so many shades for whatever skin color you got going on that week because I use a lot of different tanners and stuff and sometimes I need it lighter and sometimes I need it darker. So what was I saying? I, so I pretty much like ran out of space in this house for more animals, which makes me so sad. But if you guys could see me get like another animal, like what would it be? I know a lot of you keep asking too, if I hate cats, I don't hate cats. Like I honestly would love to have a cat. I just feel like bringing a cat into a house of this size, we don't have a small house, but since we live here, we live here. Of course we live here. I mean, we work here. We're here all day long with, you know, going up and down the stairs. And so that makes the space feel like a little smaller, I guess. And then we have dogs running around and I feel like it just wouldn't be the most responsible thing to bring a cat into our house because not only do I have like hamsters and rats that I let run around in different rooms and things like that. I just feel like it's just, it wouldn't be fair to the dogs too, because I think, or the cat, I think that they wouldn't have enough space. Like in all actuality, I don't think that there is enough space in the house for as many animals as we have. And I, I let the hamsters kind of run around in the bath sometimes. And I would feel like so bad if, the rat got in there at some point and like attacked the hamsters or something. And then I pull out my leopard geckos and walk around with them and I'm very forgetful. So I feel like I would like forget that or somebody else would. I have so many people in and out of my house. I've got my assistant in and out of my house. I've got um, Ryan in and out of my house. Um, we have a housekeeper. And so with all these different people and moving parts, like I swear I feel like doors would get opened and people just like would forget about it and a cat would get in somewhere where they're not supposed to. And so I just feel like it's not the right thing for me right now. Okay, so I'm gonna use this brand new thing. This is a blush trio in, uh, um, in Pop of Rose by Morphe. Look how pretty those shades are. You can use my code if you would like to try this out. Oh, ooh, that's really pretty, look at that. So 
To answer your guys' question, yes, I love cats. Yes, I would love to have one. Um, maybe I can have like my cat in a play in like our house when we move, and then I'll keep all of my reptiles and other pets like out in that studio. I want like a roll up door in that studio too. That would be really cool. Cause those rats are like so stinky. Like they, they're, you really need some like good like ventilation, you know? This is really pretty. I'm gonna take the darker one right here um, and just put that right back here for a little bit of dimension in the blush department. It's like tripping me out right now that I don't have eyebrows on. I'm like, who is that? Okay, who has seen the new Deadpool? Is it good? Should I go see it? I didn't wanna like, I was like afraid to go in theaters and go see it because there was just like so many people and it's so freaking sold the F out. But I'm interested to see what you guys think about it. Oh, what highlighter are we gonna wear today? I'm just gonna go with one that I've been wearing like a ton. Um, this is the Ofra Highlighter in Blissful. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to contour my schnoz. Forgot to contour my schnoz, Ola. Super excited to see Deadpool. Um, I saw the first one, I loved it. Um, what did you guys think about the second one? Please let me know in the comments. I'm gonna be looking to you to let me know whether I should see it this week or wait a little longer, or is it one of those that you should watch at home? I feel like it, the first one was so good. Like, I don't know how you follow that up. I need lessons on contouring my nose. I'm really like not great at contouring my nose. Good from far, far from good. Whenever I try and contour my nose like Sandra, I just like, I'm like, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened here. Back to the highlighter. I think, oh my gosh. Oh, I thought it was a spider. There's like a lash stuck to this and I legit thought it was a spider, but let me tell you something really gross and you guys are probably gonna like judge me and just be like, like when you hear this, okay. So, oh yes, give it to me. So yesterday, <laughs> this is gross. I can't believe I'm even telling you this. Um, so yesterday I was sitting at my computer and I was like, I don't know what I was doing. I was like editing something. I was like deep in concentration. And I and my eye has been twitching for like the past week. And thanks to you guys, now I know like I need to eat more bananas and it's because of stress or whatever. Look how pretty that looks right there. That that collection of colors, like in the eye, everything's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Um, I love when you do your makeup and you don't know how it's gonna turn out, but then you really like it. And you're like, oh, I wouldn't have done that, but I like it. That's what's happening. So I was sitting there and I was thinking, my leg started like twitch or something. I felt like something on my leg. And I was like, you know what? Your leg is probably just twitching just like your eye was. And sometimes your, my leg does twitch like where it like, like, I don't know. It's just really weird. It's like muscle spasms. So I was like, just, I looked down at my leg and I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll know if it's a twitch because I, when it moves, I'll like feel it and I'll know it's a twitch or whatever. So then I watch it and it's like moving. And I'm like, what the hell? And I feel it and nothing's moving. And then I wait again and it's moving. And long story short, I realized that there was a super worm in my pants and I wasn't like wearing underwear. So the possibilities there just like really creeped me the F out. And it was like just so nasty. And so I saw it in there and I like freaked out. Girl, if that had been a dubia roach, I would have lost my mind. I would have literally, I don't know, I I would have died. This is, um, uh, I wanna mention these brushes because these are some of my favorite brushes. Uh, these are the Luxie brushes. This is a 227 blending brush. It's like just a really nice, like it's not flat, but it's not, um, it's not like round either. I just really like these. And I have a discount code for them too. I like them so much. I was like, oh, I get a discount code. So you guys can enjoy that if you want. So anyways, I kind of freaked out, got up and it like fell onto the ground. And then I'm just sitting there perplexed, trying to figure out how the hell a super worm got into my pants. Like I have absolutely no idea. So then I go over and I look at the super worm container and I see that they are getting out. And then I realized that I realized the other day that they were getting out and I just like thought they weren't gonna go anywhere. Like I have a screen on the top of the um, little container and I was like, oh, this is fine. Like they won't get out, it'll be cool. Well, I was wrong. And somehow I got a super worm inside of my pants. I just can't figure out, like I didn't deal with the super worms that day at all. Like I don't know how it managed to make it into my pants. I just am so, 
so confused at how that even like went down. Like how did it get in there? So anyways, got a super warm in my pants yesterday. That was disgusting. Do you have any crazy like bug stories that you wanna share with me to make me feel better? Because it was so gross. Later in the day, I actually found like more super worms crawling like in other places too. I was just like, what have you done? What have you done? Okay, so for brows, I wanna mention this product because it's one of my absolute favorite. Um, this is the Lorac Pro uh, um, Precision Brow Pencil in dark, cool brown, but really it's more like, like, a, like a gray. Just like brush your seven eyebrow hairs up this way and go in for some brows. A couple days ago, Ryan and I went and saw that movie with Melissa McCarthy where she like goes back to like college or whatever, like with her daughter. It was like funny, I won't ruin anything, but it was like funny, but I thought it was gonna be better in all honesty. Just saying, like I feel like you could wait for that one to come uh, out so you, like at the red box so you could grab it and just watch it at home because like that's what I would have done. A lot of you keep asking me if I have used the Kat Von D eyebrow stuff too, by the way, just reminded me. I haven't been doing colored brows a lot lately. Like I feel like I kind of grew out of that for the minute. Um, but I would still like to try it out because I feel like I, it's like, was like my stable there for a minute. So I feel like I should let you guys know what I think about that. So I need to actually go, um, pick it up and actually try it out for you guys. Oh, I love this product for eyebrows. It's, it's so like quick. I just love that. It takes like the guesswork out of brows a lot too. It makes it easier without like flat end. Okay, I'm gonna just curl these guys. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So my blog, my website, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but I have a blog website and I haven't actually gotten an opportunity to get back on there and blog for a little while. I wanna know what you guys wanna see on there because like, I kind of liked the idea of some meal preppy stuff, kind of like what I've got in my fridge, some clothing sale stuff, makeup sale stuff, but like, I'd be interested to know like what you guys wanna see so that I can kind of make some content on there that you guys are wanting. Cause I'm new to the whole like website blog thing, but I really like it and enjoy it despite some of the super mean comments on there, all of the nice ones make up for it. Like I heard people commenting on there being like, you should stick to makeup. And I was just like, I just can't imagine saying things like that to people. Like someone's found a creative outlet that they like and they're enjoying themselves. And you know, for the most part, writing positive things other than bad um, restaurant reviews when I have to write those. Uh, Cause I've been doing a bit of that on there and like reviewing places that I go to, but it's like, how would, how, I just can't imagine like going to someone and being like, you suck at writing, you should stick to makeup. Like what in the world? Like who says that to somebody? It's like so beyond rude, it's like unreal. But I would bet you a million dollars that that person would never say that to my face because I'd punch them in the face. Probably, maybe, I don't know. I haven't been violent since high school, so probably not, honestly. <laughs> Violence is bad. This is making my lower lashes look so big and luxurious. It's expensive to look this expensive. I'm gonna line my lips with NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in Nude Suede Shoes. Creative. So now that we're just sitting here chatting and gabbing, I thought I might tell you guys about my secondary Instagram page. I have a pet one. I guess it's like a secondary one because the pet one's the third one because I'm crazy. I have three Instagrams. Yes, I do. I just thought I would segment the information and the stuff just in case you don't want to see about my pets or more lifestyle stuff. So anyways, I... Oh, that's a good time to do this, right? When I'm about to put lipstick on. Okay, so I made a, a secondary uh, Instagram quite a long time ago, actually, like years ago at this point, but it was like about fitness for a really long time. And I haven't been like going to the gym regularly or keeping up on that really recently. So I've made that Instagram more like lifestyle, 
like more pictures of Ryan and I, more pictures of me and my pets, and just like more lifestyle in general, like more outfits and stuff like that. So um, if you guys wanna follow that one, I'll put it in the description box below too, but it's just Kristen Leanne 2, um, T-O-O. -O. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Naked Liquid Lipstick. Love this shade, love it. I've been doing this like monochromatic makeup look thing recently without even thinking about it, where like my makeup, my lips, my eyeshadow, everything is very matchy matchy. I like it a lot. So we need to travel soon. I wanna, I'm like really wanting to go on like a tropical vacation and Brittany Lee Saunders told us we should come to Bali and I think I agree with her. Ryan's like, oh, it's such a long flight. And I'm like, I know, but it's Bali. Like, I wanna go so bad. Let me know, like, what are your guys' favorite places to travel to or what's like on the top of your bucket list to travel to? I'd love to know so that I can expand my horizons, be open-minded and try some new places or consider some new places to travel to. I'd love to hear. Getting your lips even, uh, like getting your lips even when you overdraw your lips is like so hard. I'm gonna darken my little freckle right here just for those of you who love to talk shit about it in the comments. I'm doing it just for you. Actually, I'm doing it for myself, but it's gonna be funny because people get so bent out of shape. I have a good idea. I will not tell you how to live your life and you don't tell me how to do my makeup. How about that? Oh my gosh, I almost just had a heart attack. So I, the camera just shut off and I switched the battery and I went over there and put a new battery in and turned it on and a big yellow thing came up on the screen and said no card, meaning there's no memory card in the camera. And I was like, did I just film that entire freaking video and there was no memory card in the camera because that definitely sounds like something I have done slash would do again. We're ready, I'm ready for this date. I don't know where I'm going. I smell good, my makeup's done. It's like simple, I won't have to really touch it up. So I'm like ready to go. I'm interested to see where Ryan's gonna take me though because there's not that many good places to eat in Carlsbad. So maybe he got creative with it. I guess we'll find out. Um, and see, I will update you guys on this date on Instagram stories. I love you guys, thank you so much for watching. And again, all of the makeup that I wore and everything for Scentbird, et cetera, is in the description box below. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.